Hi, my name's Adam and I'm in Castlemaine, about 120 kilometres northwest of Melbourne. Today we're travelling by steam train to the town of Maldon on the Victorian Goldfields Railway. So come along and find out what the experience is like. In this video you'll get to find out about the two classes of travel. Take a look inside a stunning Art Nouveau carriage. Visit the town of Maldon and get to ride behind the loco. Our journey begins at Southern Cross Station in Melbourne. From here the train to Castlemaine will take just under an hour and a half. Castlemaine is on the line to Bendigo. Our service continues on from Bendigo to Echuca. The Echuca train is operated by this Velocity diesel multiple unit. service through to Machuca via Trains to Bendigo generally operate once an hour. Castlemaine is a small city in the Goldfields region of Victoria. There's some beautiful scenery on the Bendigo line. On the approach to Castlemaine railway station, we see the branch line to Maldon. And here's the heritage train we'll be travelling on today. The Velocity continues on its way to Bendigo and Echuca. Today we'll be hauled by a Victorian Railways J-Class loco built in 1954. These locos were designed for branch lines. It was the last new class of steam loco introduced on the Victorian railways with diesels progressively taking over. Our train is assisted by a Y-class diesel which we'll take a closer look at later. There are no toilets on the train so you might want to visit the station facilities before departure. You can buy tickets at the ticket office on this platform but I'd recommend buying them online in advance so you don't miss out. There are two classes of travel, excursion class, which is recommended for families, and first class. Today I'm travelling in first class, located in the two carriages at the rear of the train. One of the friendly volunteers will take you to your allocated seat. This car was built in 1928 by the Pullman Company in Chicago and imported to Australia for use on the overland. There we are. Wonderful. Do enjoy. Thank you. The Victorian Goldfields Railway acquired the car in 2004 and completely rebuilt it into a club car. It's in Art Deco style and features leather chairs and a bar. We depart Castlemaine on time. This is a return trip. It's a 45 minute journey to Maldon with a brief stop in Muckleford en route. We'll have two and a half hours to explore Maldon before catching the train back to Castlemaine. This carriage, unlike the others, has air conditioning, but unfortunately you can't open the windows. You can occasionally hear the whistle over the jazz music they play in this car. I'll have to mute the background audio to avoid a copyright strike. The Victorian Goldfields Railway is a remnant of an extensive branch line railway system which served rural Victoria from around 1880 through to the 1970s. Branch line railways reached into sparsely populated regions, providing transport for farm produce, tapping the natural resources and promoting the settlement of new areas. Before long we've left Castlemaine and are travelling cross country. Gold was discovered in Castlemaine in 1851. The railway from Melbourne reached the town in 1862. The citizens of Maldon started petitioning for a rail connection with a contract let in 1882 and the branch line opening in 1884. Here's a quick look at our route. It's 17 kilometres long 
That's ten and a half miles. There's a lot of bushland and scrub along the way. Before long, we're pulling into the only intermediate station on the line, Muckleford. The town developed during the gold rush in the 1850s and at one stage was home to more than 2,000 people. Today's population is a fraction of that and comprises farms and small rural properties. After a brief stop, we continue on our way. The railway station opened here in 1884. The station featured in the Australian film The Dressmaker. Kate Winslet's character gets off the train here, although the station was renamed to Dungatar in the film. Let's have a quick look at the bar menu. You can get snacks, hot and cold drinks, including wine, beer and spirits. If you want to take a closer look, I'll include it at the end of the video. The bar is only accessible from the two first class carriages. Time for a wander. After serving on the Overland, this carriage was sold to the Commonwealth Railways and converted into a mobile shop on the tea and sugar train between Port Augusta and Kalgoorlie. I guess I better keep moving then. We're now in a wooden sleeping car named Tambo. This car was built in 1919. The car features Art Nouveau decor. Because several of the original sleeping compartments were missing, the Victorian Goldfields Railway decided to extend the original gentleman's lounge section to make this a parlour car while retaining as many of the original features as possible. The fittings, hooks, catches and signs have been reproduced based on the original designs or in keeping with the era. The interior timber is Queensland maple and new woodwork has been matched with the original finishes. Tambo was the first Victorian railways carriage to be built with electric lighting. The attention to detail is incredible. Unlike the stainless steel car Macedon, the windows in this carriage can be opened. There's a large lounge with cane chairs and a viewing platform at the end of the car. I'm kicking myself for taking so long to discover this wonderful vantage spot. It's lovely to hear the clickety-clack of the tracks, which you don't really get with modern continuously welded rail. And you can hear the steam engine very clearly from here.
We're now slowing down on the approach to Malden. Time to head back to my seat. The two first class cars don't quite make it onto the platform. So we exit via one of the excursion class cars. We'll take another look at excursion class later. Welcome to Malden. The station opened here in 1884, but passenger services only lasted until 1941. The line was then used for goods traffic until its closure in 1976. The steam engine is topped up with water before moving on to the turntable. The Y-Class diesel shunts the carriages into place for the return trip. It's a 15 minute walk from the station into the town of Malden. You get two hours to explore Malden, a town that's largely unchanged since the 1850s. There's a good selection of places to have lunch. I went for a chicken and tarragon pie in a French cafe. Now we're back at the station and there's a chance to take a closer look at our J-Class engine. She's certainly a beauty. Today's loco is oil powered, although half of the Victorian Railway's J-Class fleet was coal powered. The volunteers prepare the engine for the return to Castlemaine. This loco remained in service until 1972 and was stored in Ararat until it was sold to the Victorian Goldfields Railway in 1979. And here's a quick look in one of the excursion class cars. Back in my car, we depart Malden on schedule. The train attracts many onlookers. Let's have a drink from the bar. This Yellow Glen Sparkling cost $8. Cheers. The line between Malden and Castlemaine officially closed in December 1976. But even before this, moves were underway to preserve the railway. A very short stretch of line from Malden was the first to reopen in 1986, with Muckleford reached a decade later. Work began on the line between Muckleford and Castlemaine in 2001, with the first train running in 2004. A return adult fare in excursion class is $50. First class is $70. Family tickets are also available, but only in excursion class and cost $110. I think the tickets are well worth the price and support the efforts of the Castlemaine and Malden Railway Preservation Society. After finishing my drink, it's time to head back to the end viewing platform, which is now near the front of the train. It's really quite thrilling to ride up here almost as good as being in the cab of the loco. And that's something you can also do. The Victorian Goldfields Railway offers ride with the driver experiences for $45 on top of your fare. Or if you want to go all out, they have full day steam driver experiences. It's not cheap, but they'll teach you the basics of driving a steam locomotive.
It's not too long before we're on the outskirts of Castlemaine. Here you can just see the Y-Class diesel on the end of our train. The speed limits are in Imperial measurements, just like those on our loco. We're now coming into the station yard. You can see the main line from Melbourne on our right. Central Castlemaine is over there. And here's the station. Time to go after a final look at our carriage. This really was a fantastic day trip from Melbourne. I highly recommend it. The J-Class Loco performs some shunting manoeuvres in the yard. The Victorian Goldfields Railway operates trains every Sunday and Wednesday and also runs on Saturdays during school holidays. They also operate a variety of special services, including a beer tasting trip called Ales on Rails. And that brings our journey on the Victorian Goldfields Railway to an end. But it's now just a 90 minute hop on a Velocity service back to Melbourne's Southern Cross. The Velocity has become the workhorse for Victoria's regional passenger railways. So it's time to take a closer look at this train. In my next video, we hop aboard a Velocity to another gold rush town, Ararat. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it. Hope to see you then.